Hey everybody, welcome back! Shiny metal! Things happening! Check out what I did this week in my tiny garage! Watch and enjoy! My arms are tired though. Ugh. Shiny... I'm whooped. Figured something out. So as I was cleaning up the metal from the back half that used to hold the body behind the fender, I need to pull these fenders out. I need to make that fender wider so that the line lines up on the outside because, you know, a beetle fender goes inward. But what I just discovered was if I take that tab that holds this and I bend it way down. Almost perfect in line. See? And I didn't even have to make the fender bigger. So it's. I'm just gonna move that bolt. I'm gonna bring it in either by cutting and rewelding it closer to the outside or bending it and giving it a support so it doesn't bounce. Because I lose all the screw holes from there down I think it's like three or four but when I get down there that blue from that blue line to that black line right there I've got to remove that anyway because that's in the engine bay and the engine bay will need the room and then whenever I come up around that the panel will go down that far with the little roll in it and I should be able to hold it in place just with the screws. Those big bolts will hold it in place instead of having to make some sort of bracket to hold it in place on the outside, well, inside of the fender. That makes me happy because now I don't have to worry about cutting the fender, widening it, the whole nine yards. I've definitely got to cut the bottom chunk out but I can keep the top half as a wheel well and then behind the wheel well, I'm flattening it all off, so there'll still be lots of room for dirt and grime, but it won't be flung up into the engine bay. Now, of course, with the Type 3 engine, it's a, it's practically just hanging out in the car anyway, but I might as well give it a little bit of uh, coverage, so I'm just putting a flat piece of metal behind that in order to close that up. You won't see it unless you look in the wheel well, but it'll be just a quick round of metal instead of that going this way. In fact, I might even be able to take that flap cut it and then bend it in to make the rest of it. We'll see. I'll experiment on one side and if it doesn't work I'll figure it out and make the other side match. That idea makes me happy. Aha! There's a lot going on outside. Hopefully you don't hear all that. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do this buckles in because this doesn't pull out. The other side I was able to bend this. Whenever I put this piece in here that I want I'll be able to bend it but right now I'm just gonna finish welding this and then I guess I'll have to bend, build this to push it in because it actually pushes pretty easy. So.
need to get that hooked up. So, I don't have a coupler. See? Yeah, it was missing. I didn't... I didn't get that part. So, yeah. Bummer. Guess I'll have to order one of those to be able to steer it easier. Need to clean out all this. Scratch my paint up, but that's not a big deal because I'm going to just cover it with soundproof, sound deadener. But yeah, I need to finish the heater channel. I mean, they're in there, but they're not finished. So that, that plus installing the floor is going to be the next step, I think. And then I've been slowly scraping off all the paint with my big machine because I got to get it ready for paint someday. <coughs> so this, this, I was just testing it, see how far it'll go. It goes pretty far. That was with a wire, wire wheel. I may do that for a while, just give my arms a rest, and then start smoothing out all my welds. And yeah, so I think it's cleanup day. I'm just gonna vacuum out all this, paint the substructure underneath the floor, and then start knocking out some of this paint removal on all the pieces that need it. Basically, anywhere there's patina rust, um, and there's a few little spots. That need to be cleaned off and there's one of these has a crack in it so I'm gonna have to figure out what it is which one it is and then clean it and weld it I think it's the one that does not have the dent yeah so this one does not have a dent that's big but it does have a crack so I may get a replacement set of fenders I don't know um, yeah so I'll work on the general cleanup and then I'm gonna paint some rust reformer, rust restorer, whatever it's called, on that substructure I built before I move forward with the uh, floor install. And then I've got to make all these things go away. So, that's today. Nice to know that it's out. So I'm gonna everything I've welded in so far that's new metal, I'm gonna go ahead and hit with the you know after I dust it all off, I'm gonna hit it with the 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 rust reformer. Rust stop paint. Of course I put this in place to mimic my cross member and I forgot it was there. <clears throat> oh wow. Okay. I think I'll blast this all there and then I'll vacuum up the difference. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's loud in there. Definitely going to need a lot of sound deadener on the roof of this thing whenever I get done. Echo chamber for sure.
I know, I know. I still need to fix this part, but that's whenever the body comes back off. For now, I just want to get some stuff on it so it doesn't <clears throat> rust while I'm working on it. I really got to move that. I put that there to simulate the uh, crossbar, and uh, yeah, it's definitely. They're only simulating it in the way. Got a little bit of my horns painted silver, black, but I can always fix that or not care. Because if you're looking at the underside horns of this, you're really in deep. I think I'll bring you back guys, you guys back in a minute. Man, if it wasn't like a hundred times harder to get the metal right, I would totally like do this whole thing in the original steel color. I've been knocking off paint for the last two hours. Almost done with the roof. Just that little patch in the middle. Irons got tired. I gotta take a break. They're all that springy feeling, you know what I mean? Like, don't do that too long, guys. Don't be like me. I knew when to stop anyway. But man, that is nice. Found some more dents in the hood. And yeah, we won't we we'll just pretend that's not there, but oh look, some dents I can fix. Um, maybe. It's right where that lip is. It might not give me access to behind. I have to get out the old uh, pull hammer. But look how shiny that side is. So this would have been the back of the roof behind that section. And I think the way it sits, that's the front of the old bus. That's the back. Because the back of the bus wasn't was all shiny. There wasn't as much rust, and I have no idea why. And then this piece was the actual side but this actual side would have been below the fender or around the fender somewhere I couldn't get another chunk out of the other side because it didn't exist in the bus but there's rust there nothing I can't uh, you know stop from rusting and cover up but yeah painted the inside through the roof and or the through the floor upside down in there. I'm about to push it back in. My arms are calling it a day. But, dang, that's nice. I like that silver on this. 
like I said, if it weren't a hundred times harder to get the metal perfection, I would probably do that. I'd probably leave it all shiny and surface it like a DeLorean or something, or just polish it to a high sheen. But, not going to do that. Nope. Do not have the knowledge or patience to learn that knowledge. It'll be painted. Put your guesses below what color I'm going to paint it. Some people keep saying that it's going to be black because I like the song Black Betty over the videos I make. I just really like the song. So, <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, Ramble Am. Yeah. Uh, but put your comments below of what you think this is going to be painted. I've already picked out the color. I've already chosen the way it's going to look. Far away off from that. It'll be in a lot more metal work before I even get close to paint. Probably another month or two of uh, metal work and uh, finishing out the interior. But yeah. Let me know what you think. It will be. Time to take a break. My arms are exhausted. Say hi, Yui. How do we do, doctor? Maybe? Hey! German metal! It's got a nice starry pattern on it from the light coming through it. I can see those four or five little tiny holes. Right there and there. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's fine. Like I said, wherever the wheel well ends up, I'll make sure it aims for it. Yes. So that's where the, the sliding rag top goes? I mean, that's the biggest rag top I've ever seen. I think we're onto something. Yeah. We'll just sell it as rag, we'll sell it as rag top mechanism not included. Yeah. So there. A lot of good metal. A lot of good sheet metal. For the Kefir van or panel bug. There we go. Yes. And I, I've, I've hung on to that for 20 years. Well, now it's going to be driven for 20 years because once I get this done, I ain't putting this car away. So. Yeah. Right on. It'll go be flying down the road again. Back to use. Yeah. So that's got to be good for something still. I mean, people sometimes have, like, you still got the drip rail. I mean, the drip rail alone is great. Yeah. Well, I may, I may cut more off of this for the notchback. Yeah, exactly. You, I mean, my panel bug still needs drip rail, so I'm working on little... I'm, I got like a four-inch piece left of the the bus I got to ch chop off for it. Mm -hmm. Well, do we put this back in the thing? That's up to you, sir. It's yours. Yeah. Okay. And that concludes getting old metal. Here we are the next day after work examining the cool fastback roof I got from Apple Shed Garage Steven. There are holes and pits in it, but remember I only need to fill this little gap. That's more than enough steel <laughs> to do that. And the cool thing is, if I treat this as the top that butts up against the bottom of that, it's our, the metal already wants to roll. So I may end up cutting off the corner and then cutting it in half. And then this will be one butt side of the bus. This will be the other side. I think that'll work. There's a lot of good metal here. It's just pitted. So that'll mean probably a little bondo, depending on how close it comes to not being where the fender is. So the fender's there. So, yep, that should do the trick for me. Time to make some templates. To match that. Well, as you saw last week, got the top half done. 
Now it's time to build this part. The trick is, this fender on a bug goes inward. Well, I don't want this disappearing behind the metal before I get a chance to show it off. So, extending the fender out, widening the fender is definitely a thing that's going to happen. But first, I think I will just get a rough cut piece of metal to start fitting in here, fixing this square and all these little drill holes, and figuring out where that line is and where I want to run that. Do I want to run it straight and fade it? Do I want to run it back down where it came from and fade it? So, that's what I'm doing. about where it needs to be. This part doesn't have to be perfect if I'm going to cut it bigger and then make it fit. The biggest problem is trying to get that curve. What I'm going to do is kind of do a little choppy choppy on the pad, the paper. I want it to be flat. I'm holding this flat against the car and letting the paper bulge. Now I need two of those, and they're not going to be identical on the top, but I'm going to have to make them identical on the bottom, so once I get one right, boop, good job. The key is to have more metal to cut off after. 
after it's mostly in place, then to, and not to have less metal because it's just more annoying to add on. So make it bigger and trim away, not make it smaller and keep welding out in a few pieces. That's essentially what I had to do for the top half of the panel and that was annoying. That still needs to be filled in, but that's a whole other thing. That's that's a tiny little patch panel at this point. Okay, Alex. See you. <laughs> I'll watch your video later. Your car's coming out great. Got a fastback with the best red I've ever seen. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. I'll link to his channel below. I think that's actually really good. need to do is call the gutter rail my um, perfect point and then measure several spots on the wheel on the um, arch so that both sides are identical and then make sure that's where it goes. not a lot of steel at all. And then I'm not going to do this corner yet, so that's going to stay open until I get the corner uh, figured out. So I got to delete the light, the headlight, sorry, delete the tail light, and then put a new corner at the height of the, the actual car, because right now it's so t tall it's dragging on the floor. Every time I push in, I finally just cut off the corner that was dragging, because there's the roundness of it was already rusted away. So there's really no point in doing that. So now take this, transfer it to the, the red metal, and choppy choppy! Chopping the car! Choppy choppy time! So remember, holes here and holes here. So as long as I put the top around it is actually not bad. I will be able to wheel well. Let's see what I'm going to do is, not that I'm going to do this in like the end, but if I roughly guesstimate this is how much metal I need, and I go around the bad spot, there's one piece, and then there's the other piece. See? I probably won't even touch that. And I'll still have to form the bottom of this car on 
what little goes here and there, and I'll have to make a little, you know, I mean, like a little bracket or something. Oh, there it is. He wants to join these two and weld it right to the wheel well so that it looks smooth but if I do that I can't remove the wheel well so what will probably end up happening yeah it's gonna have to be because I can't use this roll can I? Flat and metal. Bend it to my will. Least amount of top mark there is. that out, bend it to my will, and won't take much. Little heat, little bang, ba bang, we're good to go.
rounded this way. Not what I want on the bus. Or the panel bus. So, I'll probably have to pound at least this corner out a little bit. Scoops up. So I'm hanging on that because tape doesn't work. Oh well. I'm, I was betting that it would really not have done. But there we have it. So make sure that goes up there. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's easy to see. the idea is that I cut it at the top of the roll right here. So making sure that that matches all the way across, as long as that's a straight line, which I'll make a straight line soon, that roll will be perfect. But right now it bulges out because this was a roof and there's this corner and that corner roll that way. So I'm going to have to just probably give it a relief cut and some quick wax with a hammer to stomp, maybe stomp on it. Keep it up, cool it down, the whole thing, you know, all the stuff you need to do. But once it's there, everything starts to come into play. That's what I call roughed in. I did notice something. I accidentally cut too much there. So I ended up making a relief cut right here and that solved my, my roll because that turned this roll this way into one straight roll this way. So now I can just flatten that out easier and then I'll just tack that in. Uh, gotta get out the laser level follow this beam and then measure from here to here to make sure the beam's in the same spot all the way across and then I'll determine how to make the how to feather out the beam down there so that I mean it's a dirty piece of metal from a piece of roof that was cut off the fastback 20 years ago but that shot right there. Yeah. And I've got a ton of strap over here. So I might, I'll probably put this in real quick. And then determine a flat line and so on and so forth. Because I've already plugged the holes. So. Yeah, check that out. That's crazy cool. Once I get it tacked in place, I'll figure out how to do the edge. I'll have to fix the bottom corner. Whoopsie. Um, and right now it'll be rough guesstimate because once I tack this side to the top to the side, I'm not doing anything there because I'm going to leave it raw until I get a perfect arch. So what I'll probably do is grab a piece of metal and bend it over the arch. Make sure both sides are identical. Because um, I still have little holes like in the roof and things to do. So once I get the bulk of this body in place, then I'll go through and you can't place really it. There's still a hole up here. I gotta replace this panel and finish the, the bead right here. I'm just gonna have to keep going. But that is really cool. So now, just for giggles, I'm going to take it to the other side. I don't need to show you all this, but I'm going to take it to the other side, get a rough idea if it's the same, and then mark it out on the sheet of metal with a piece of paper. But right now, just make sure I got enough metal. I probably do. I just want to make sure. Be right back.
Unfortunately, sure. if I want the roll to go up the car, I get really close and there's like two or three pinholes there that I can't fix. I need the old German metal so I can do this better for my sake. So, it is what it is. Too bad. There's a couple of minor holes there. I can grind them, make a little patch panel, clean up the rest. And there you have it. Not a lot of progress, but between removing the paint, securing the metal, Cut it to the rough size. I actually think I got a lot accomplished. It doesn't look like it, but look! It's kind of bottom. I'll fill in this guy, I'll do all the things, I'll keep going. You keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ding the bell, have a great week, and see you on the flip side.